tuples are another collection type in Rust, and they're uh, they're pretty different from uh, from the other two that we've seen so far. And tuples, we've actually uh, we've seen them in one case before, and that is where um, when we have like a function that doesn't return anything, this is actually returning this, which is uh, we saw this before the unit type, and this is uh, just an empty tuple, <clears throat> and so you can see that a uh, a tuple is inside uh, inside brackets instead of uh, square brackets. And uh, the thing about tuples is they can have uh, multiple types. That's the uh, one of the big differences. Uh, so you can take a, let's uh, let's write a tuple and just give it like a, a whole bunch of types. Um, random tuple, and you just uh, you. You use these brackets and then you put your items in here and you separate them with commas. So we'll give them uh, two i32s. Uh, this is uh, stir. And then uh, let's put an array in there, seven, eight, nine, and then give it a vec. And then we will give it a float. And so there you go. This is, uh, this is fine. I can have all these types. And then uh, we can print it out with uh, debug printing. Random tuple. And you can see it's exactly the same, uh, the same thing we wrote out here. And if you want to see the, uh, the type of it, then uh, remember this, uh, this tip from before. You make up a, uh, a, fake, uh, a fake method, and then you, uh, you make the compiler angry. And then it'll tell you, uh, you know, I don't know what to do for this, with this method on this type. And the type is integer, integer, string, uh, array of three integers, a vec of integers, and a float. And then, um, so that's the, you know, every tuple has its own type written, written like that. And so, um, you know, if you have uh, another tuple here, and this is just uh, seven and eight, this tuple is of a different type, even though uh, you know these start out as uh, i32s. But you can, of course, uh, you can kind of pull out the uh, the items inside there. Oh, I forgot to tell you. If you um, you know in in uh, arrays, you use the uh, the square brackets to get uh, to get the index. Whereas in uh, tuples, it is a dot and then uh, the number. So this is index index uh, number zero, which is uh, seven right there, or random tuple two. If you do that, that refers to this, uh, this stir over there. So that means that you can take, say random tuple, uh, we'll take uh, item number one, and then we'll add it to uh, random tuple 2.0. And that will be fine because we are just adding uh, you know, an I32 to an I32, and Rust is uh, totally okay with that. And uh, one uh, one really cool thing about uh, tuples is you can use them to uh, to declare multiple values at the same time. So, uh, and that's exactly what uh, what this is. But you can uh, you can give them names as well. So you can say. Uh, Let's see, a, b equals uh, eight, nine. And there you go. So a will actually be just, uh, it won't be a tuple. It'll be, uh, you know, it'll match this. And so it'll take this out and uh, a will be an i32. And uh, you can also do the same with uh, destructuring. With, let's say we have like a, uh, a vec here and you want to destructure it and destructure means uh, pulling items out to make variables basically so you know you have the, uh, the structure here and you are destructuring it you're taking out the structure so let's uh, let's say we want to uh, make some variables from this so we can say let a b c equals Sturbeck. Oh, that's right. Uh, like this. 
Um, there you go. So stir back zero, stir back one, and stir back two. So the, uh, yeah, so we're matching them. So you have a tuple of one, two, you know, three items here, and it will match this uh, stir back zero, one, two. And now, let's say you want to print that out. So B <clears throat> is going to be two. So that's how you uh, destructure or you pull apart like uh, an array or something like that. And uh, you know, when you, um, when you pull this apart, let's say we only, you know, we want to take, uh, let's say we don't care about C. We want to use this, uh, take this stir vec apart, but we don't care about C. So you can do A, B, and this. And this means uh, don't give it a name. Uh, we're not going to use it. So it's uh, it's just there to uh, to keep the, uh, the same structure. But uh, we will end up with only uh, variables A and B. And there you go. You can see we got uh, A and B. And this one, uh, this one gets thrown out. So we don't. Uh, that's what the uh, the underscore means.